Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about the O'Neill Psycho 3 uh, wetsuit for winter, uh, fall 2012 into uh, winter 2012 and winter 2013. Uh, very nice of O'Neill to lend us their um, sample suits. So still in production um, for the winter range of t fall 2012 into 2013. The reason they've done that is because there's a huge sort of step forward in technology from O'Neill uh, with the addition of the Techno Butter neoprene. So they're pretty proud of this achievement and they want to get it out there, get some previews out there and getting their customers sort of looking and feeling, at the, feeling the suits. One of the sort of, uh, a lot of interest we've had has been towards this suit, which we're happy to sort of introduce, which is the Psycho 3. So, obviously moving forward from the Psycho 2, um, everyone's sort of interested in the suit, what's changed, what's different, what's so much better. And uh, I'll run through that unit for you now. Uh, we've got both the suits here. We've got the ladies suit. That's the uh, Psycho 3 for the ladies. And then you've also got, obviously, the Psycho 3 for the men. Okay, so what's new about this suit? It's all about the Techno Butter, this uh, neoprene, which is sort of a very pioneering neoprene. We've already done some um, test samples, test videos on this neoprene. Uh, and basically, the boast from O'Neill is that it's 17% lighter. Uh, the standard neoprene and 30% less absorbent than standard neoprene. Okay, so what that actually means in terms of performance, 17% lighter, it's going to feel a lot better when it's on, it's going to weigh you down less, it's going to have more air inside the neoprene because it's 17% lighter, it's got more air in there which is actually going to trap more hot air, more hot air and keep you warmer. 30% uh, less absorbent so it's going to stay lighter in the water, uh, basically less absorbent so it's going to be better when you're paddling, swimming and whatever you're doing, basically whatever water sport, it's going to restrict you less and it's going to be less heavy. So it means more time in the water and a more of a feeling of freedom and not wearing a wetsuit, which is especially good when you're wearing a winter wetsuit. So that's the Psycho uh, 3. It actually show you the, um, the Techno Butter a little bit closer. One of the other things they've changed about it is the jersey over the neoprene as well. So that's the sort of outer layer. Basically you can see that sort of like crisscross pattern there. It's the sort of very lightweight lycra. It feels really soft to the touch, really, really nice and light and soft. And basically gives it an additional amount of flex through the suit as well. Now O'Neill have got uh, exclusivity on this neoprene for seven years. Okay, so... Um, if you like that neoprene, then uh, O'Neill is going to be the brand to go for. Um, it feels great. When I actually pick up this suit, this is a 3.2, but uh, for a Psycho, compared to the Psycho 2 3.2, there's a noticeable amount of uh, sort of difference in terms of lightness in the suit. So um, definitely feels good. And having tried out um, one of the limited edition suits with the Techno Butter, it feels great in the water. So differences. Techno butter running the whole way through the suit now with the uh, with the Psycho 3. In terms of the cut and the shape of the panels and everything like that, it's quite similar to the Psycho 2 because it works so well. Um, things are the same uh, is also the um, XDS neoprene, which is this middle panel here basically. Smooth skin and in the middle you've got these little potholes. Uh, the little potholes basically are little holes in the neoprene which trap uh, hot air inside the suit and uh, keep you warm basically. That hot air inside the suit will keep you insulated. So your own heat leaving your body will be trapped in there and then insulate you. So a very clever little system and that Techno Butter will do that as well because it's got more air inside there as well. Okay, so in terms of the XDS, you've got that front and back round the kidneys as you would expect to keep you nice and warm, keep your organs warm and in turn keep all your blood and keep your body warm. Um, further down the suit, you've got the standard things like the Duraflex knee pads, Crypto knee pads, whatever you want to call them, just a sort of hard wearing, hard wearing knee pad that stops the uh, uh, suit wearing through. You've got the usual things like the key pocket on the side there to keep your key. The cut of the suit's pretty similar. You've got the Zen Zip system on the back, so they always go with the back zip system. The Zen Zip system, in case you're not sort of aware of that, is basically where the back piece of the neoprene, the back panel of the neoprene, uh, of the wetsuit, should I say, is actually here and then the zip itself is sewn over the top of that so any water that comes in through the zip instead of uh, going into the suit is uh, filtered out through the little drainage hole at the bottom here and any flush throughs from the collar you've got this over the head system some people call it the back wing system but with the zen zip very similar any water that flushes through the collar instead of going into the suit it's flushed out the back through the little hole right down there okay one thing i've noticed with this as well um, i do believe that the zip is actually a bit shorter this year as well uh, the shortness of the zip basically means that you get that more freedom in the lumbar region. So from here downwards, just sort of uh, without zip, unrestricted movement. Uh, so you get a huge amount of flex in the back of the suit there as well. Okay. So shortening the zip makes it might mean it's a little bit harder getting to, into, in and out of. But having said that, with the back zips, getting in and out of the suit isn't too much of a problem. So the sticking with the back zip because it's tried and tested. Everyone's happy with it. It's really popular. Uh, don't have too many problems with it, and it's really good at keeping the water out. 
Okay. Um, one other sort of principal thing to mention, mention the difference between this and last year's suit. Uh, last year, actually, sort of 2011, fall 2011 to 2012, they did introduce this uh, super seam technology. Really been perfected now, so it's the really thin taping over the seams. Essentially, this is a stitchless wetsuit. So the only stitching, basically, is around critical areas, right around the cuffs. You've got a bit around the collar and around the ankles, just where you need a bit more durability and flex isn't as important. The rest of the suit is basically uh, glued together and then you've got this really thin welding over the top. This is a sample suit so it's going to be uh, a lot better on the actual suits they bring out in production. But having said that, it looks great and unbelievable flexibility. No restriction there basically. With the old liquid taping it was quite heavy, quite cumbersome and I found it restrictive which is why I never went for a suit with liquid taping. But this new sort of taping is uh, very, very lightweight, very thin, very effective, no stitching, and so it feels fantastic. And it's sort of a, it basically parallels the triathlon suits that uh, have no stitching in terms of flex and functionality. So that says a lot about the actual sort of flex of the suit. So, delving inside the suit, then a lot of parallels then between this and last year's suit. We've got the overhead system here. If we move further inside, you can see you've got that polypro lining on the chest and around the kidneys. All that blue material is the techno butter. Hard to describe how soft that is, but it's really, really soft to the touch. Um, so looking inside the suit then, you've got basically that thin liquid taping and then you've got the polypro around the chest and around the kidneys. That's basically like a thermal material, very fleecy, very thick uh, and very, very warm. Basically that does trap heat inside the suit and holds it against your chest and around your kidneys to keep your uh, core area even warmer. So this combined with the XDS neoprene, the taping and the techno butter should make for a very very warm and very very flexible lightweight suit. That's essentially everything with the Psycho 3. Big difference, the uh, techno butter neoprene is really the leap forward. Everyone who's sort of uh, picked up and filled the suit within the warehouse is pretty excited about trying it out. Um, unfortunately it's a sample so they're not allowed. Um, but ladies and men, very similar. Uh, the construction is pretty much the same. You've got the ladies and men's. This is a 3-2. This is actually a 5-3 I believe. So uh, it's going to be available from the winter series onwards, the Psycho 3. We should be getting in in about August 2012. Uh, but until then, this is the preview for the O'Neill Psycho 3 for fall 2012.